Hey guys, it's Julie and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Come With Me. I am 110 miles south from home. I am in San Marcos, California. I've never been to this city before or this nursery, so give this video a big thumbs up. I'm really excited to visit this one. There's so many cool things. I already love just the entrance of this space, so give this video a big thumbs up for yet another Come With Me in a different city. I've never been to before at another new location. Let's go ahead and check All it right. out. So here we are, this is the entryway, well at least one of them. I see a lot of Talavera garden art right away, love that. And these are really expensive. I think next time I go to Mexico, I'll get more in the blue and white cobalt blue so that I can get more of these type of planters in my collection. I'm really excited to see what their house plants look like. And now that I have my water feature in my space, I can definitely appreciate when I see them in these kinds of nurseries. They are not cheap, guys. So I want to go ahead. Wow. Take a look at this. Oh, I love this plant stand. How cute is that? I love water fountains. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Take a look at this. I've never seen this shape before. Oh my goodness. Look at that owl up there. Do you see that? Like all three of them are super cute. I don't know what the prices are, but this middle one here by himself. Oh my goodness. I would love to have that. How much are you? $50 for this owl. Definitely gives me vintage vibes. I love that. Oh my goodness. Is this a fountain? how cute a cascading fountain 160 dollars for this but look at how cute this is oh my goodness this is so cute i love that the 160 for that you just need a pump if it comes with the pump that is a good deal because mine's cost well over 200 dollars for mine which came with the pump which i thought was a good deal take a look at this oh my goodness isn't this water can fountain adorable Kinda gives me Egypt vibes. I love that. Okay. I love that. That is so cool. Oh, beautiful trillis. I'm telling you guys, plant life is not a cheap hobby. It is definitely expensive. And everything you purchase for plant life is an investment. Look at this. Look at this cute little terbera cactus I'm kind of interested to see the price on this okay not that bad at all guys it's about $26 for this that's a nice present for someone who loves plants Wow! how impressive okay you know just $5,000 plus tax for this Wow Look at this. Thousand and up for these guys. Oh, this one is not that bad. Look at this. It has the watering cans. This is like $200. I still love mines though. I see cobalt blue and white planters. Now, you guys, this is so impressive. Like I can't, like this is really cool. Do you guys see that dinosaur there? I'm gonna have to go back in that area. But there's lots of bird bats, like literally every single bird bat you can think of. This one is really nice, is living here. I don't think I've ever seen this amount of bird bats in one place all at the same time and they're 20% off. I have one, I have a blue one. I do have a bird bath. I might turn it into a succulent garden, we'll see. Take a look at all these planters guys. Thumbs up the video just for like the amount of planters this place has. Every single color and aesthetic lives here. This is very impressive. Okay, let's go ahead and come into this section. Oh my goodness. Look at the dinosaur. So cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this owl. Alright. Getting sidetracked here. No, 
I think I want to go in this section and finish up the planters before I start moving into living plants. Oh my goodness, look at that. A shark. Some aquatic plants. Might dabble in that one day. That's a whole different kind of plant life. They have it here. Look at this. Dirt pots. Flexible, portable planters. Love that. Oh my goodness. They got fishes in here too. Oh my goodness. Give this video a thumbs up for having kois here. Butterfly kois. $200 plus tax. Wow. Wow. Okay, love this place already. I don't think I've been in a nursery where there is kois for sale. Except one in... Um, another location so i'm gonna go there guys in a little bit but i definitely want to finish up this section here now this is the kind of style of planter i like and not bad at all guys these go for 15 dollars for this size here and then this one goes for 20 but this is the style of aesthetic planter that i like these larger ones go for 25 oh, and then these smaller guys go for about five. Oh my gosh you guys take a look at this do you see this is that alocasia oh my goodness wow what an impressive water feature I could just sit here all day and look at this a bench here to admire Abby, what are you smelling, honey? You smell something? Another dog? We must move along, Abby. Okay. Okay, I'm impressed. I mean, look at even this water feature here. This is the whole area that I just walked through. Planters, bird bats, fountains, they got it all. Wow, I'm so impressed. And then let's go down to here. Look, if you want to have your Televera numbers, how cute. Oh, they just think of everything. Wow. Can you guys see everything I'm looking at right now? How impressive. I want to see what these cobalt blue planters go for. Okay. Bless you, Ebs. Oh my goodness, you guys. I could stay here all day. Here's more cobalt blue planters. I wonder what the price is of this one. Hmm. No price. How I multitask filming and having Ebby. I use my legs sometimes to hold her leash. If I need an extra hand. I'll take you guys in this section here so you can see what they got going on in the back here. Every single kind of planter imaginable is here. Unbelievable, terracotta game is so strong here. Love that. So it says here, 50% here only pottery sale. So all of this is 50 off. I wonder why. Wow, look at this big planter. Is it cracked? I think it's because it's cracked. You guys already know that one planter that cracked that I got from Las Vegas, well, it is still cracked. My grandma needs to come back in two months to glue it together. Okay, not that bad. So this azalea pot, which is the one that I love so much for my succulents and cacti. This is for $3 and some change. Not bad at all. This size here goes for right under $2. So guys, they're planters. Very reasonable when it comes to terracottas. Ooh, they even got like a wider one. Look at this. So I think this is the same size that I use for my opuntias and my euphorbia cuttings from Tanya. Okay, wow. This is impressive. I don't know where to go next, guys. Look at this. I haven't seen anybody yet back here. What do you think about this place? 
telling you, it's one of these nurseries where I could just stay here all day and look at every single thing they have. Um, it'd be also interesting to do a video for the channel where I maybe go to one nursery and try to have a budget and get some planters and plants and style them. Sound off down below if you guys would like to see that as I walk past all of the cocoa liners. Like, look. You see this? Very impressive. There's all the cocoa liners. So much to choose from. I'm kind of interested in prices because I like collecting okay. them. So they are they are on the expensive side. Well, $18. There's one already in white. I wouldn't have to paint it. That's nice. How much are you? Okay, so $15. I just bought mine from Walmart yesterday for eight, half the price, and I just have to paint it. I try to get my cocoa liner baskets with the wire hangers for under $12. Wow. Let's go stop by this water feature here and see what's going on back here. Some trillises. Look at this. Very impressive. So it looks like I'm in the in-ground section. Azaleas, things that um, is not my kind of plant life, but nice to see that they have something for everyone. And um, wow, very impressive. So they even have a Pennington collection for planters. Wow. The loft creative container designs like for orchids studio collection by new england pottery wow look at that pony bench very nice oh no they even have an owl section look oh my goodness hey cutie julian's allergies whoa all right how did they get that here who would like Sound off down below, guys, if you would buy this for your home and how would you style that? <laughs> that is like for a black garden, maybe, I'm thinking. So here we are, tools and all things needed for plant life here. Like literally every single thing you need. Cute gardens for kids. Love that. Start them young. So cute. Look, even a little garden broom. How cute. I've never seen a kids section before. Oh, adorable. Even like a little knee pad. How cute. Okay, very cute, guys. Wow, look at this potting bench. I love mine. It was thrifted and I just kind of refurbished it and sprayed waterproof spray on so it. I love my potting bench a lot. All right. This is impressive. Wow. Very cool. So this is the section I just walked through right now. Okay, planters for all of your planting needs. Kinda interested in prices here. Okay, so this was about $15. I got something similar from the 99 cent store for a dollar. We are in the Zen section. I swear, this is like plant heaven. Oh no, an owl planter. Okay, $35 for this owl planter. Definitely out of my budget, but another one I've never seen before. And if it was in my budget, I would definitely get it. Look at this. I have a few. Also, turtle planters. Very cute. So if you're looking for Zen plant life, they got that here too. As I walk past some more planters. Ebby, don't pull mommy. What are you smelling? Okay. $23 for these baskets. I really don't know where to go. Oh my goodness. Okay. I feel like I need to go in this section first. Okay. I want to see the prices of this because this is the planter that I got a bunch of. Remember these? And they go, wow. Guys, this goes for about $7. I cannot believe I got a good deal. Mm -hmm. Cute. How adorable. Okay, so... Wow. Fake succulents. Oh no. Can't look at that. Moving along. 
bird houses, wind chimes. Do you guys see this? I feel like if I went to plant heaven, this is what it would look like. Unbelievable. I'm gonna rock through this section because I love when nurseries have like gift shop areas where it's curated to all things plants. I love that a lot. Oh my goodness, look at that. Very cute. Any aesthetic, whatever your taste is, whatever your cup of tea is, they have it. I'm very impressed. So let's get into this section, which is now my cup of tea. Wow. Cacti and succulents. Abby, what are you smelling, babe? Okay. Wow, this little AMAC, guys, is $60. Oh, wow. Echeverias, love that they label that, at least in general. These go for about $13 one, which to me is on the expensive side. But what is this? A Crested Echeveria. But not in the greatest condition. Looks like he's rotting. But nice to see. Wow. Look at this guy up there. Do you see him? He's cool. There's another cool one there. Okay. Aeonium lily pad. Look at this. This is a Aeonium lily pad. Never heard. Very interesting. Okay, guys. Give this video a thumbs up for plant life. Like, look at this. Very impressive. Some bigger guys here. I don't know what the prices is. I'm thinking $13. I've never seen a lemon lime this big, have you? This is big lemon limes. Wow. Oh, look at that gazebo back there. Oh no, babe. Okay, four inches for five dollars plus tax. Oh, I see a little Ripsalis. You guys already know. Love them. So here's a little fun Ripsalis. Look at that. Wow, guys, look at this. Do you guys see what I'm looking at right now? Very impressive. Guys, you know what is really cool? That they got the string of dolphins here, but ooh, not much and very expensive. So this thing is probably going to cost you about $3.00. Which is the going rate. Um, I see a bunch of stuff. But what I do love about this nursery, guys, is that everything, for the most part, I've seen is labeled. Yay. Thumbs up the video for a plant nursery that labels their plants. And I want to say... This is Crested, is it? Yeah, it is, guys. Look, a baby Crested Aeonium Sunburst. Love seeing that. They have everything under the sun here. Wow. Very impressive. I love this place so much. They got Sunicios here, Crown of Thorns. It's like your one stop shop. Gotta look really good. You never know. Here's an epiphilic plant looking crazy. Look at that. Not for sale. These plants are in quarantine ICU. And I see you not for sale. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Just out of curiosity. Hmm, interesting. All right, guys, you see all of this? Now they're getting into the weird ones here. You guys already know how I feel about the weird ones. Now this is interesting. What are you? Here's an interesting species, another euphorbia. Take a look at that. So here's another interesting euphorbia. 
If you collect euphorbias, this is a really cool one. He's just really interesting. I might have to get him just because he's weird. The euphorbia, take a look at that. These will set you back for about 25, which is at least the cheapest I've seen it. Caldex plants are not cheap, guys. Okay, I've been kind of stuck in this one section for a good minute. Anything interesting? He's weird and interesting. What is this? Without getting pricked. He's a Euphorbia Racinifera dwarf form. Sounds like something I have. More Sunicios. Love seeing that. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm dying here. This place is really cool. Bromeliads. Bufon Docia. Here's the Buddha's temple, Cressula. Again. Next to a string of dolphins. Pricey plants. Oh my gosh. What is this? Is this an alocasia that I don't have in my life? I don't know how I just skipped over this. Okay. Mayan mask elephant ear. Oh my gosh. This almost looks like a regal shield. Oh no. Look at this. Oh uh, yeah, Julian. Let me think about it. I'm gonna think. I might get one. Oh yep, yeah. so it is a regal shield, guys. Julian already has this. I was uh, really close to getting it if I didn't have it. All right, so look at this greenhouse. Sensovarias, I have all of them. Here's the Bantle Sensation, which I absolutely love. Love of Bantles. And um, I don't see a price on you. Huh, no price. But look at this, guys. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Oh my god. I don't know. I may have to get you. Look at that. Just for that one leaf. Okay. Julian. Uh, I'm getting stuck here with this guy right here. Look at this regal shield. Oh my goodness. Imagine mine's that big. my god ah, so freaking cool give this video a thumbs up right now if anything for this monstera because it's so impressive but for this amazing greenhouse oh my gosh hey guys i i love this place so much i just want to like live in here this is kind of the vibe that i'm turning my place into by the way, look at these monsters. They remind me of home. Can't wait to go home to Hawaii. Hopefully sometime soon. Oh my goodness. Look at this Talandia. Look at the bloom. Can you guys not? Like, look at this. Their Talandia display is on point. I mean, look at this. How can you... Uh, honestly, like, I can't. This place is too cool. Too cool. Okay, guys, I'm so impressed. I'm just going to walk through everything. Look, they have little baby pilias here. I don't know what the prices are, but they have it. The short, bushy version. And lots of it. Rubber plants. Ferns. Pothos. Golden and Brazilian. Like... So much Chinese money plant, Dracaenas. Look at this impressive regal shield here in the center. Unbelievable. That's gonna run you $150, but one of my favorite plants. You guys already seen it in my top 10. Fiddly figs. I really want this fern one day. Look at how pretty this is. Wow, this is gonna run you $23 for this fern, but it's healthy. Monstera, look at that. 
staghorn ferns. Not bad at all, guys. For about $55, you can get a staghorn fern in that setup already. Here is the Zabrina Tritiscantia, which is the most common one. You'll see, I don't know the price, but it's very impressive. Look at how long it is. Okay, so this is going to cost you about $23. Peace Lily, Calatheas, Chinese Evergreen, Dyphenbachias. Hmm, here's this guy here. I'm gonna get him one day. It's on the expensive side. But this one is not that bad, 15 bucks. Okay, curly spider plant. Mine's is not doing that well. I may have to redeem myself and get another one. But, more importantly, here's the Hawaiian spider plant, which is one I don't have in my collection. I may pick this one up because this one is really nice. Let's go ahead and hold on to that. So here's one. Evie, you want to hang out here? Just don't run away, okay? Can't lose you in this jungle. Ugh. Here's another here's one. Here's the two. I still think the first one I chose is the best one. Oh my gosh. Okay. What is this? Spider plant Bonnie. Is it different from a curly plant? Now, I do have a curly spider plant. Not in the greatest condition, but they call this one a Bonnie. I don't know why. I don't know if that's just another name for it. Ooh, that one. And I do have the spider plant. Curly of three. I think this one is another one that looks good. Look at this. Here's the choices that I'm trying to look at right now. Whoa, no, this one. Okay. You guys see how I choose? Top point of view. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at the dimension of this one. You just never know. I still think I like that one the most. Give it a twirl. Hmm. I still think these two. Cutie. I'm going to leave these two on the side. Because these are potentials. I love collecting spider plants and propagating them. So those are good plants because you can make your money back right away. Making more babies. Now these house plants four and two dollars hmm anything i don't have oh no staying away staying away don't want the maiden hair now the peperomia rosso it might do better in my bathroom now i had one and it died a while back so this is four dollars which is actually reasonable this might be a good time for me to redeem myself as you guys know how much i love peperomias Oh, and just so nice to see the Hartley Philodendron in neon. One of my favorite plants currently living in my home. Okay, I might have to redeem myself. This is a good one just because it's healthy, reasonably priced, so I can try again. I will do that. I will give a plant up to three times. For instance, I gave this three times, no more. Sensitive plants remind me of Hawaii. So I don't buy them because they used to just be all over the ground in Hawaii. Now my variegated trailing fig and I'm slowly rehabbing it back to life. But look at this. Imagine this in my bathroom. But I'm going to try to revive mine. So I don't want to repurchase this one. I don't have an all green one though. Love me an all green creeping fig. Alright. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked here. Here's the stag horns. Love that. More water features. Goldfish plant, compacta, peperomia. Okay, look. They got a bigger peperomia rosso. Ooh. For about $11. Wow. I might get this one guys because 
it's reasonably priced and they look healthy i'm just worried i'm gonna kill it okay i might go home with you like look at how impressive that is i'm just scared i'm gonna kill it again okay so here's the caladora my dream plant this will run you about 150 dollars i would love to get this for my birthday this year this is my plant goal for the year it's an investment but i love it peperomia is here the obtusi folia and the guinea my guinea is not doing that good i might have to redeem myself one day and get another one 15 dollars oh no we had a fallen baby got some hoyas up here nice to see obovada looks like crinkle 8 carnosa and compacta variegata i'll pick you up Ugh, okay all right so let's say goodbye to this greenhouse thank you for all the plant inspo guys one last look at this beautiful impressive greenhouses i swear i've been to some really good greenhouses this is definitely gonna have to be at least in my top 10 it was very impressive i'm walking out with two plants that makes me really happy let's go ahead and check out the rest of this space abby's in the cart <laughs> i just want to show you this section really quickly it is all in ground plants but I definitely just at least want to show you the vibe of this space. They have California natives too. Sometimes in the in-ground section, you'll see philodendrons, alocasias, ferns. So I'll go ahead and stop at that if I see any. Wow, what's in those greenhouses back there? You see that? Wow. Uh, I was very impressed with that greenhouse, guys. Oh no, is that another greenhouse? What's in there? Oh no. I'm just gonna have to look because I'm nosy. Sometimes I walk in these greenhouses and I don't even know if I should even be in there or not. Okay, Ebs, you're just gonna stay here, park it, okay? Be right back. Hmm, okay. Looks like the ones that are kinda struggling. There's Ebs. Cutie. You hanging out with mom? No Houdinis, you can't come out of your harness if you like that ear scratch. If you're sitting in the wagon, the little munchkin. All right, let's back up. Hold on, here we go. Let's see what we can find. So I'm really far, you know, I think I'm 110 miles south of me, definitely not down the street from me. Never been to San Marcos before but hey i think it's worth it i love this greenhouse just the greenhouse alone was worth the drive very impressive love the water features the tilandias i mean everything you can think of for plant life is here you can create your own little urban jungle here i love that so much all right abs lead the way wow begonias so these annuals are $2 each, perennials, edibles, oh, what's this, let me look, this is really cool, a bear's breech, looks like something you would see in the jungle. Goodness. Coleus, which I don't have any of. Polka dot plants. Okay. Oh no, here's the ferns. Okay, let me look. Let me look really good. 
What's this? This is interesting. Look at that. Do you see the colors? Wow. This is a Japanese painted fern. Love that. Do you see the variegation of that? Mm hmm. Okay. Still want to get one of these one day. The blue rabbit's foot fern. Look at that. Oh my, imagine that in my bathroom. Hmm. Look at this fern, guys. Wow. Look at that. You see that variegation? Oh no. Silver fern. You're pretty cool. I love the characteristic of it too. You may have to come home with me. Like, look at that top point of view. I love how it takes up so much real estate. Here's another one. Ooh, okay. Now, I love how this is spread out. Love the vibe of that. But this one is a lot taller, like going up. So, hmm. Still, you know, it takes up a lot of space that way too i may have to get one guys oh no i'm i'm, I'm like i'm still having to go through all these ferns here and see I, i'll get one fern if that guys because all their ferns are healthy i can't get two ferns because uh then i have yeah <laughs> this is not i mean i'm just buying ferns because i collect them that's all and because i can't have maiden hair ferns so $11, like I never want to spend more than 11 on a fern. And I just rather grow them. So I think he might be coming with me. A dwarf tree fern. Whoa, now look at this. This is interesting. What are you? You are a Brazilian tree fern. Look at that. Oh no, it's red. Let's take this garden art out and see what we have here. Wow, look at that. I just love it because it's variegated. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I love the contrast of that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And then even this one too. I mean, I'm not loving that. So, And that one's pretty interesting too. Look at this. Okay. Alright. What do you guys think? I love how that's like red right there and it's spread throughout. Now this is about to fall off, so I'm not really into that. And this, I mean, even though if there's browning tips, like the plant is not damaged. Like there's a little kink there in the leaf. I would have to prune that off, but look at that. Wow, isn't that impressive? I don't think I've ever seen a red fern before. I think that's why I love it so much. And then look at all of that. Oh my goodness, you guys. Like, look at how cool that is. Okay, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. Sit on it, think about it. This is definitely jungle vibes. Like, something you would see, like, in a different country. Okay. These ones. Uh, the button fern. The asparagus fern. Asparagus foxtail fern. Okay. Okay. The doctor is in. Isn't that cool? Look at the green thumb. I love that. So cute. Will you park there, Ebs? Stay. I just want to see this green thumb. I love that. Look at this. You can have this green thumb for $100. I love that a lot. Never seen that before. Hey. Oxalis. Anthuriums. Oh my goodness, I would love to have this full of plants. Oh, staying away from caladiums. Never no more. Finicky. Orchids. Mm -hmm. Tiny living. Okay, let's come through this section. Just something I wanted to look at. Wow. 
wow. I love when everything's organized. It's just so satisfying. Seeds. Oh my goodness. I wanted to show you this. They have everything under the sun. I may get some orchid bark. I might get this because I want to mix it in with some of my more finicky plants. And they have everything from potting mix for cacti, uh, worm castings, love that. I want to know what the price is on the worm castings. Not bad guys, 10 bucks. Okay. They got the bonsai planting mix, which I love, but I like to make my own. Perlite pumice, peat moss, love that. Coco coir. They have everything. Love it. And look at all the owls just waiting for me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at Evie. Look at how funny she looks. Hey cutie, you helping mama film? The mountains in the background, how pretty. Look, the same gnome in West Hollywood lives here. And then I just want to show you guys that they also have lots of patio and garden furniture. Even a popcorn maker. Oh my goodness. Dream catcher. Right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here in the greenhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed this come with me. I'm 110 miles south from home out here in San Marcos, California. So give this video a big thumbs up for yet another cool location, another new city I've never been to before, and a very impressive greenhouse. If you guys enjoyed this, come with me seeing Evie here in the cart. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I get a video up for you guys once a day to inspire you. I have over 400 videos on the channel, so support the channel, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified on my daily uploads. Stay tuned for a collective Southern California plant haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the content in the last two days. For more fun content on the channel. And I'll see you guys back in Santa Monica. You can find more on my blog at ellajulie.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Abby and I out here in San Marcos, California. Bye!